Today, I'm going to give you a recruiting update and preview the opening finals at the Star in Frisco, Texas, and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. And I'm here to tell you a torrent of commits could be coming. Oklahoma heads into July with the number 6 2019 class in the country, according to the 24-7 composite team rankings. The Sooners already boast the best quarterback and receiver in the class, if not trio of receivers, along with four well-respected defensive linemen. Three offensive linemen have already committed to play in Norman in 2019, and the lone spot available to a tight end was taken nearly a year ago by standout Austin Stogner. As the Sooners head into the marquee summer showcases, the opening final and the five-star challenge, finding out which two running backs and four defensive backs will join the class is going to be next on the agenda. The opening final in Frisco, Texas begins this weekend. It features Oklahoma commits Spencer Rattler, wide receivers Theo Weiss, Trejan Bridges, RJ Henderson, tight end Stogner, running back Jace McClellan, and offensive lineman EJ and Domo Gar. That's a hell of a list. At present, four-star safety Jamal Morris is the only defensive back committed to the class after Jerry and Jones flipped his commitment to Mississippi State means there are at least nine defensive backs OU is watching closely for what appears to be four spots left in the 2019 secondary. At the top of the list is an Oklahoman and five-star recruit, Dax Hill. The Booger T. Washington safety was nothing short of jaw-dropping, according to reports about his performance at the opening Dallas last April. Hill flashed 4-3, 40-yard dash speed and ball skills that earned him his fifth star heading into the start of the summer. According to diehards, Hill will attend OU's Champ U Barbecue in July. Feels like OU coach Lincoln Riley could convince Hill to commit to the Sooners later this year, but there's work to be done. Five-star cornerback Chris Steele is next on this list. He was the subject of news this week when the USC Rivals affiliate reported Steele has committed to play his college ball for the Trojan. Steele has not confirmed the report and appears to be going about his business as usual. He has said he will announce his commitment on July 7th and it's a safe bet to say he chooses USC. Steele has said he's going to remain open to recruiting after his commitment announcement. And as a St. John Bosco prep star, it wouldn't surprise many to see Steele playing in Los Angeles. However, secondary coach Kerry Cooks likely won't give up until Steele has signed his national letter of intent. St. Thomas Aquinas product Jaden Davis has remained high on the Sooners since his April 13th visit. The four-star cornerback has scheduled his commitment announcement for July 18th. Finally, Oklahoma has gained significant ground with four-star corner Woody Washington. The number four player in Tennessee holds offers from Alabama, Florida, Tennessee, and Arkansas. However, the summer has whittled the list to OU and Ohio State as the favorites to win his services. While I don't feel any alarm in knowing there's not a single running back committed to the 2019 class, though there are two committed to the 2020 class already, I admit it feels weird. Oklahoma is arguably the greatest running back university of all time. While four-star all-purpose back Isaiah Spiller was committed, he has since decommitted and left the Sooners without a tailback in an otherwise remarkable 2019 class. The likely candidates to join the 2019 class include Noah Kane and Marcus Major. Texas is seen as the leader with Kane, though he continues to listen to what the Sooners are saying. Kane also comes from the same IMG Academy that sent running back TJ Pleasure and safety Brendan Radley Hiles to OU. Major is a local product out of Millwood High School in Oklahoma City. Over the last several months, Major has seen his recruitment rocket away with offers from Michigan, Alabama, and Florida, among others. While Major took an official visit to Oklahoma in May, his most recent official visit to Arkansas is cause to be nervous. But I do think one of these two guys is going to commit to Oklahoma sooner rather than later, and I think July could be a big month for Oklahoma. Alright, that's it for me. Deuces.